Hey, what's up everyone? John here, and today I'll be starting the jam session a bit earlier, so I'll be posting this video uh, a bit earlier in the day. Um, so yeah, I've received a few comments uh, kind of saying that uh, the videos are a bit fast and, and things like that. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the whole point of these jam sessions. Uh, they're kind of speed builds uh, to hopefully uh, showcase some of the things that you can do in Webflow. Um, I have made longer videos and they're just a bit tedious. Um, so I enjoy building things quickly in Webflow. Um, you can slow down the speed of the video uh, within YouTube. There's a little option in the YouTube uh, section uh, for the video. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be quick. Um, I'm going to try to explain as many things as I can, but that's kind of uh, the point with these jam sessions. Um, so another trend that I'm seeing with these jam sessions, so this is... A little bit of an experiment you know i just decided to see how quickly i can build a site within five minute increments um, but I, i'm noticing kind of a pattern that i do like with these video videos excuse me um, and that's uh, fixing things uh, from the previous jam session um, so in the beginning i'll fix a few things that i think i could have done better in the previous jam session and then we'll go into the jam session for the day um, so yeah sorry for that kind of long intro but just wanted to provide a bit more context around these videos uh, to hopefully make them a good experience for everyone uh, to watch and for me to to make them. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's build. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is fix things from yesterday. So uh, yesterday I put um, the nav bar in one slide, which is not what I intended to do. I wanna put it in the right section here, not, or actually, uh, yeah, in the right section. So, um, so now we have the nav bar and the slider in the right section. Um, so for the right section, I'll just have to change the uh, direction here for the flux to to vertical instead of horizontal. The other thing um, with this nav bar, it is in a container, and that's why when we preview uh, here, the the text starts all the way to the right because it's in a, I believe a 960. Uh, pixel width container and it's pushing this text to the right. So we actually want to create a custom nav bar. Um, so in this right section, I'm just going to go ahead and add a div block and I'm going to call this um, nav bar or right nav bar. Uh, perfect. And then I'll give it a specific height of maybe 75 pixels and cool. And then I'll, I'll take uh, these nav items and I can't place them in here, so I'll have to create uh, link blocks in here. So, so in the right nav bar, I'll add a link block, and I'll call this uh, nav item. Cool. And inside of this link block, I'll add a text block um, in here. And we'll just give it the styling. Uh, let's see. Well, actually, uh, for the nav item, let's, uh, or for the right nav bar, I'll give it a position of flex. Uh, horizontal stretch and justify left and then for the nav item I'll give it a flex of center center all right cool so these kind of uh, changed a little bit here so I'll just delete this nav bar container right there and this nav bar cool all right so we have the text in here so I'll go ahead and re-add that text so this video will definitely be longer than five minutes um, just because I do want to cover this it's kind of important Okay, so for this link block uh, that I've called nav item, let's remove the underline right in here. So I'll just remove that. And for the nav item text color, I'm gonna go ahead and see, yeah, just change it back to, we'll just do, yeah, uh, 333. Three, three. All right, cool. So now, and we'll add some padding to, to this, uh, some left and right padding, maybe like 10 or 20. We'll, we'll play with that in a second. So now I'll copy and paste, and let's look at the uh, yeah, features gallery. All right, cool, features, uh, yeah, features, gallery, uh, tech spec, and what else, uh, setup, cool. All right, so yeah, and I'll call this uh, nav item text. All right, so now, I'll take this right nav bar and I'll place it at the top. Cool. So now when I publish, uh, that text text will be on the left and not on the right because it's not in a container. All right, cool. So that's what we want. Um, that's looking good. The text is a bit small on this larger screen. 
Uh, but thankfully, Webflow recently released larger breakpoints, so we can add these larger breakpoints and change the size of this font on the larger breakpoints. Okay, now that I've gone over that, and we're probably already five minutes into, into the video, we'll actually start the five minute jam, st uh, jam session for today. So let's go ahead and look at what we can do today. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and bring back um, this gold overlay and these panels. Um, so yeah, let's do that today and I might add this text up here and this text at the bottom. So let's go ahead and begin with today's uh, jam session. So let me bring out the timer and I'll go ahead and start. So five minutes starts now um, and Awesome. So cool. So we have the gold overlay right here. If I bring this back, um, let's go ahead and set the display setting to block. Um, it places it up here. So let's see. Yeah, it's because it's in the, uh, let's see. So the right has a display setting of relative. And yeah, it's interesting why it's being placed in the right panel. Uh, not exactly sure why that's happening there. Uh, maybe the right, the the gold overlay, yeah, the gold overlay will need to be in the slider here. Uh, so let's see if that works, and let's change the Z index. So let me go to the position. Uh, let me set it to relative, no, absolute, and full. So it should be filling it, and let me change the Z index to like 99. All right, perfect, so that worked. So it's in the slider. Uh, has a Z index of 99 and it looks good. Uh, so Z index just brings things uh, more in the front uh, of other elements. All right, cool. Um, so now let's see what we can do here. So let me bring back the right panel. Let me set the display setting there. And I think I can place it in the gold overlay. That might work. Uh, let's see here and right panel and right panel and then for this gold overlay we'll just give it a display setting of um yeah horizontal and stretch all right cool so let's preview that um, we have those panels here and awesome so within each of these panels i want to add some text so let's go in here and we have some some text here at the top and some elements here at the bottom um, so the first thing i'll do is i'll create uh, yeah, I'll create a div block and I'll call this um, right, uh, right panel top. Okay, and then inside of here, I'll give it a flex setting of center center and add some text on a text block. Cool. And then I'll just copy this text from in here if I can select it. Nope, it doesn't let me select it. Um, cool. So we'll just, we'll rename the text after. Um, let me just style the text. And I'll say Rubik and maybe Rubik light in there and change the color to white. All right, awesome. And I'll just paste this in each panel. All right, and then we have the bottom text here. So I'll add another div block. And for the right panel, let's give it a flex setting of um, vertical. And we'll say, yeah, align stretch and then we'll do a uh, space between. So we'll distribute it. So one div block goes at the top and one goes at the bottom. And then um, I'll call this right panel bottom. All right, and then uh, let's see. So we have this little icon, we have sound and um, this here. So let's go back in here and uh, let's see if we can add all of this. So for that icon, let's see, let me go to assets. The icon is right here, so I'll place it in there. Looks good. And then, uh, let's see, for this, let me add another div block. Or actually, I can add a, let's add a heading. So let's make those things headings, like maybe like an H3 um, there. And then, um, and then we have, I think, some text. Or, yeah, we'll make this text. These things feel like kind of categories, so I'll make the bottom part text. Um, that's just kind of a personal preference. Depending on like what I wanted for search engine optimization, I might change some of this. Um, but yeah, so we'll have uh, right panel heading, 
and right panel text. Cool. So for the heading, I'm going to set it to um, to Rubik right in here and bold. That's cool. And we're going to set it to all uppercase. Give it some letter spacing. Uh, set the text to white and awesome. And then yeah, make it like 10 pixels there. And then for this text, we're going to make it uh, Rubik and uh, let's see, Rubik, let's do light, Rubik light. And the text will make it white. Cool. And then for the right panel bottom, let's set the flex setting or the alignment to, uh, let's see, why is it centered? All right, so that's my time. So I want to align everything to the left. So uh, let's see this text. Uh, yeah, all right, so left, align left and this button should be uh, the right panel should let me align. Oh, flex. OK, there we go. Vertical and left. Awesome. So yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, everything's left aligned here, as we can see. So I'll just have to add some padding uh, to to this dip block, maybe 40. All right, cool. So let me just paste that in each one. And yeah, and then we'll add some margin to the bottom of this, maybe 20 and some margin to the top. Yeah, margin and yeah, to the top and left. Something like that. All right. So it's coming along. Um, we got uh, some good stuff done in, in uh, five minutes. So we have the panels. We have the text at the top. Uh, might remove some of that margin there, but that's looking pretty good at the bottom. Um, let me go ahead. I'm I'm on a yeah 27 inch iMac. So this is this is what it looks like when we're building in Webflow. So this size looks good, and uh, the size is uh, 1168. So it's like for a laptop screen. So for a laptop screen, this would look pretty good. But we're gonna add some larger breakpoints and design for larger screens and also for smaller screens. We'll make this responsive. Uh, but so far, so good. I'm liking what, what's going on here. Um, we're going to add some more hover effects to these buttons. And yeah, so that's it for today's five minute jam session. Um, thanks for watching. The video is going to be a little bit longer just because of um, kind of the introduction this morning and uh, kind of fixing to some things from from yesterday. Um, so yeah, definitely check out the templates if you want to start quickly with a template in Webflow. Um, I have a few templates here. I'll be releasing a few other templates as well. Um, and there is a discount code in the description area below at uh, WFY-YouTube. Uh, for, for all my YouTube viewers, you get 20% off um, any template in the shop. Um, so I'll leave a link to, to, this, uh, to the templates in the description area below. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next jam session. Thank you.